Hey Hawkeye fans, let's talk about the upcoming game for the Iowa men's basketball team against the Virginia Tech Hokies in the ACC Big Ten Challenge in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Tickets for this game are $20 for adults, $5 for anybody 18 and under, and if you are a University of Iowa student, you get in free. Please pass that word around. University of Iowa students get in free to this game. This will be Virginia Tech's first trip to Carver Hawkeye Arena, and it's their fourth road game uh, in a row. And it's their third game in the past five days. They played Friday and Saturday, and they flew in on Sunday. Virginia Tech is 1-3 all-time in this challenge, 0-2 oh on the road. Meanwhile, Iowa is 2-6 overall in the challenge and is 2-1 at home. As far as Seth Greenberg's team, the best analogy I can come up with is they're sort of like Michigan State is in football. They're defensive-orientated. They're hard-nosed. Um, when it comes down to it, sometimes they don't always fulfill the expectations that some people had on them. Um, as far as the tempo goes, Virginia Tech has about the same raw tempo as Iowa does. So you'll see a very slow game. Um, looking at the roster, they, it says they're two guards, two forwards, and a, a center. But if you watch them play, they're closer to a three guard and two forward set like we've seen so far. They're not a good shooting team at all. Uh, their effective field goal percentage is one of the worst in Division One basketball. They're not a three-point shooting team either. Um, Delaney has actually made more uh, trays, 13 of them, than the entire team has combined, 11. Uh, as far as the key players for Virginia Tech, I'll just hit back on Delaney, as I just mentioned. If you follow any kind of college basketball, you know that he's one of the best players in the ACC. He's leading uh, the league right now in scoring. I think he has over 22% or 22 points per game, excuse me, <clears throat> and he's leading that uh, league in scoring. Uh, he'll likely be on the court for all 40 minutes. He plays a ton of minutes. He can stroke it from downtown. He is the one player that you will be dangerous from outside, but also he can slash. He's a good slasher, and he also has got good handles, and he can pass well. So all around, very good game uh, for this combo, uh, combo guard. Um, it's probably going to be impossible to contain him, and he's going to get his. doesn't necessarily shoot a great field goal percentage, but he's going to get his points. He puts up a lot of shots. The player I think I was going to have the most trouble with and the player they're going to focus the most on is their 6'7 junior power forward in Jeff Allen. He's a back-to-the-basket guy, but he can also take it out and um, shoot the ball from 15 foot uh, around that area. He's a rebounding machine, a double-double type of guy. Uh, Iowa needs to keep him off the glass uh, to have any type, type of chance in this one, both on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. He's prone to foul trouble, though, and that's the good thing. He's had at least three fouls in each game so far this year, and he's actually fouled out of the last two games. There's some stats I want to throw at you real quick here um, about Iowa. 38.5% of their opponent's points have come from beyond the arc, and that is the seventh largest percent in the entire nation. So the three ball has absolutely killed Iowa this year, and they've lost a lot of games because of the three-point shot, not only on defense but offense as well, as you know. Uh, VT, like I said, doesn't shoot the ball very well beyond the arc. That's going to help Iowa in this one. Additionally, uh, Virginia Tech shoots the ball pretty well from the free throw line. Uh, Iowa, however, only is allowing 12% of opponents' points to be scored from the free throw line, and that's the eighth fewest in the nation. So Iowa's got that going for them as well. Uh, if you want a useless stat to throw out there, Iowa on December 1st is 30-0. and 0. Doesn't mean a whole heck of, hell of a beans, but... Um, if I was Lou Holtz, I'd probably predict Iowa to win just for that reason alone. Um, another stat I just want to throw out there, too, is the four losses that Iowa has this year, the combined record of those opponents is 17-3. and three. My key to this game is going to be basically to keep uh, Allen off of the board. Delaney's going to get his. Iowa needs to limit the second-hand chance points, the second uh, chance points for Virginia Tech. Uh, Iowa is in the top 25 in not allowing their opponents to get offensive rebounds. So they need to continue that trend if they want to be able to win this game. Last game, Iowa had 15 offensive rebounds, and that created 20 second-chance points for them. That was huge on that end as well. And if they're not shooting the ball well, which we have no reason to believe they're going to shoot the, well, the ball well in this one, especially because uh, Greenberg's team has phenomenal defense. But secondly, Iowa hasn't shot the ball very well at all this year. So in that regard, Iowa is going to have to focus again on second-chance points. Additionally, like every preview we had this year so far, Iowa has to take care of the ball. They are one of the worst teams in the nation in steals allowed per offensive possession. So Iowa is not taking care of the ball, and the fewer possessions Iowa has, the least amount of chance they're going to win this one. 
as I said earlier, fatigue might be an issue for Virginia Tech. This is, like I said, this is their third game in five days, so they might be have some road worry, road woes, road woes here. But who knows until they get on the court. Prediction on this one: I believe it's a winnable game for Iowa. I think both teams are very evenly matched. Uh, Virginia Tech has some better athletes in Iowa. Iowa might be have some better uh, uh, overall players, I guess, in the scheme of things. But uh, Virginia Tech has the better athletes and has the better individual players. So in this one, I like Virginia Tech in a very low-scoring game, 56, Iowa 53.